How's it going YouTube? It's APOC. Welcome back to another Lens Studio tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how to do a basic face retouch, but it's actually going to retouch the whole body, I guess, uh, with my method. It's not very noticeable in the whole body, so the face will be the main focus, but it kind of smooths the whole camera, which is actually something Snapchat does in a lot of their lenses. So uh, this is the best method to build off of, in my opinion. Like You can go further with your retouching, but this is like the basics. So we're gonna open up our objects panel here, click the plus, and then it'll start on general usually. So you wanna click on face effects, face retouch. You can also appear in search, type in retouch if you can't find it and just click on that. So it's gonna add in the built-in face retouching and you can play with these sliders, but I'm gonna show you, uh, we're just gonna play around with them right here and, and see what we can come up with. So the first thing I wanna talk about though is the intensity of these can make them look really bad if you go too high. Soft skin, for instance, adds a sort of cross hatchy pattern, which looks really, really bad. But I'm gonna show you how to fix that in a second. So we're actually gonna leave that kind of high at one, which gives a little bit of a cross hatch, but not too bad. Teeth whitening, there is a problem with that as well. When you have it enabled, uh, your tongue will actually look white in the middle like where your teeth would be if you stick your tongue out that's because it just adds in the whites like in this part of your mouth it doesn't actually track your teeth so it can look a little weird having white on your tongue eye sharpening you know it looks pretty good no matter what but i usually don't go too high on that either because it looks a bit unnatural so we're actually going to just keep that around zero point uh, we'll say seven eye whitening you don't want to go up too high either. You can see it kind of bleeds over and also it doesn't look natural at all. There's rarely ever like solid white in a camera. It's just in the, in the real world, it's usually off white. So we'll keep that a little low as well. Probably 0 0.4. Now let's move up this soft skin so it's really cross hatchy so you can really see what's going on here. We're going to add in a post effect. So we scroll through here, we can find post effects and smoothing. This smooths everything in the camera. So you can see how much better that looks already. But we're actually going to turn down the smoothing a little bit. 0 0.5, roughly 0 0.5 is probably good. You can see it smooths it out really well. Now that soft skin is still way too high to even be fixed by this. So we're going to come back down to where I had it, which I think was like one, right? You can see it already looks better. You don't see the cross hatchy pattern anymore. I'm actually gonna go down to 0 0.9 and turn this up just a little bit because that also smooths the face. So you don't, you can just use this to smooth the face if you want to, but I think both of them do a pretty good job. Now the difference is the smoothing one, unless you like go in and set in a positive texture or anything, which doesn't look like you can do on this basic material. I have to do some trickery to do that, but as it stands now, it smooths the entire camera. So like his arms right now, are being smooth. I don't know if we can visualize that super easily, but yeah, there you go. You can see down here on his arms, they are being smooth. It also kind of lightens the entire scene, which is something you want to be aware of. Um, you know, every, anytime you're lightening or darkening things, you always want to make sure like that it's working across different skin tones and things like that. In this case, it works on everybody, but you know, you just want to be sure. So that's really the basics. Um, another thing you can do is, you know, come in the asset library and we're just gonna search for makeup. And I assume there'll be one in here. I haven't actually looked for it in here. There's a makeup template. Okay, yeah, so we have 2D makeup, 3D makeup. I'm gonna add in 2D makeup. because I think that's the one I'm used to using. So yeah, you can see it adds in some makeup. And what we can do is click on the makeup controller and I like to take off everything that's like super noticeable. So eyeshadow, things like that. And we're just gonna leave on mascara, lip gloss, and blush, but turn them down really far. So they hardly look like they're there. It's gonna give you a nice look. And this actually adds in a retouch, the 2D one. So you're just gonna delete that retouch because, let me see if this needs it actually. I think, or we'll just disable it. I don't know if deleting it will cause it to break. So we'll disable it. You can see we have this very light mascara look. And you know, it's not super noticeable, but we can really see the difference. 
makes a subtle difference, you know, just brightens the things that you want to be brightened. People's eyes, or not eyes, uh, you know, mouth, it usually looks better with the lip, lip gloss effect, in my opinion. And as well as brightening the cheeks, uh, it kind of gives you more definition on the sides here when you're brightening this area. I'm no makeup expert or anything, but you can see that very subtle difference. And the mascara is not super strong, so we might actually be able to turn that up just a little bit. Yes, yeah, so you can see the difference there. It really makes his eyes more defined. You can see what I'm doing with these is testing them on all the models here in Lens Studio. You can also um, test them on yourself with the camera or like import your own pictures, which you may want to do if you have some like specific look you're going for that you want to make sure it works on you and things like that. Sometimes I'll turn on my camera just because I have low lighting naturally in my room. I want to have my lights off. So I'll test it in low lighting, which is something that these don't cover. So that can be something you want to test with your makeup because they can look really bad in low lighting. Um, and you kind of want to test for like medium low because that's what a lot of people are in. Uh, not everyone is in this perfect studio lit environment, you know? So, excuse me, us. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's it. Uh, you can duplicate this as well if you want to make it for two people. You just duplicate the retouch, face index, change that to one. That's going to be the second person. Zero is the first. The makeup, we're just going to duplicate as well. Click on the controller and it's a face index. Second. And now both these people will have it on. Oops. So there's hers and there's his. So that's it, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Drop them in the comments below. And uh, drop a link to any effects you make using this. I'd love to see them. See you.